here on the Burn Jane Glitter page. I know we still don't have the best setup right now, but we're really doing our best to recover after Hurricane Irma. And we just got power back recently. Um, and when our power cut back on, it fried our air conditioner and one of our televisions. So we had to get a new air conditioning, like new central air. So that was a fucking process. It has not been a fun time here in South Florida, but I wanted to make this video for you today because I have been trying a couple more drugstore things. I know how much you guys love it when I review things that are from the drugstore and more affordable. And honestly, in this last year, the makeup industry, y'all have to excuse my hair, but the makeup industry has stepped their game up so much that like drugstore stuff is starting to be like really good. It's like on point right now. And I have found, um, I've tried a few recently and one day we'll do like the anti-haul and go through all the stuff that i really was not a fan of and then we'll talk about that but i have had a really good hit here recently with drugstore products and today i'm actually going to be reviewing two of them in this video and i only said one but they kind of like go hand in hand and you guys just have to excuse me i'm doing my best with the lighting like let's that looks a little better don't you think I think so. So I am going to be reviewing the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. I bought this from CVS. I honestly do not remember how much it cost. Not really, um, cause I bought it with a whole bunch of other stuff and I didn't, I, I, I know how much it cost me to go for like my whole purchase, but I don't, I don't really remember how much it cost. I think it's like $12. I'm not really sure, but in comparison, this is my <clears throat> go-to um, luxury foundation. Clearly, it's been it's been well loved. And this is the Smashbox Studio Skin, and it is forty three dollars. Twelve forty three. Twelve forty three. Actually, they're really similar in quality, and they're similar in what they do for your skin. The cool thing about this, okay, it has vitamin E, B three, B five, and it has a broad spectrum SPF twenty. Which does not cause flashbacks because I've checked. Your girl has checked. And this is kind of incredible. The things that I don't like, it oxidizes for sure. It oxidizes this. And this is ivory. This is the lightest shade. Is that ivory? No. But anyway, we're going to put some on. Oh, it smells like flowers. And foundation normally stinks. So I'm pretty stoked that this smells like flowers. I'm going to be putting it on my new obsession. This is the... Echo Tools, Eco Tools, however you say that, um, their beauty sponge. And let me tell you, this is softer than my beauty blender. I got a pack of two for $7. The other one is smaller, it's made for concealer. I don't use it at all because it's hard as a rock. This one, the regular size one, is so soft and squishy and I love it. Now, I have primed my skin, not with primer, because remember I'm in South Florida. I've been using my um, Beauty Glow, Serum from Soul Shrine Cosmetics. It's a roller ball full of um, facial oil. And actually, right before this video, I was putting it on and I had just finished it, so I threw it in the trash. And then I was like, fuck, I could have talked about that in my video if I didn't throw it in the fucking trash. And it's in the trash can in the bathroom, so I'm not going in there to get it. Y'all know what it is Soul Shine Cosmetics. I talk about them all the time. You can find them on Instagram. And I do have a coupon code with them it is WitchyWoman10. All one word, no period in there. Like my Instagram hashtag is witchy.woman. Not that. Witchy woman 10. I'll leave it down below in a comment. Okay, let's get on it. Echo Tool Sponge with our foundation. Now, here's the best way that I found to put it on. I put it on and I kind of swipe it onto my skin and then dab. Now, this is two pumps of foundation. There's some drawbacks. That's two pumps and that's all it covers this portion of my face. Now it could be because I have very dry skin and my skin absorbs it. It could be this sponge absorbs it. I don't know. It could not be the foundation's fault, but I have applied it with a brush and I don't like the way it goes on with the brush. And I, I have a, we'll do the other side with the brush. This is just a Real Techniques foundation brush, kabuki brush, whatever that I've used forever. And I will say the product seems to go a little bit longer of a way with a brush. 
And that's how I apply, I like to stipple it on my face and then smooth it out. But, no, that's, not, that's, that's also two pumps. That is actually half my face. But if you get up here real close, let's move. You can see through here, it just doesn't pick up and you can see brush strokes all through my skin with the brush. Not, not, I just, I don't prefer to apply it with a brush. I definitely prefer this side with a beauty blender. It's a lot more smooth. It's not a beauty blender, sorry. It's an Echo Tools blender. This is a lot more smooth than this. I'm actually gonna go, <clears throat> y'all have to excuse me clearing my throat because I'm allergic to something in Florida and I've had this weird allergy throat thing going on since I have lived here. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back over the with my sponge and just kind of smooth it back out. Now and I usually take one more pump. So this is our fifth pump of foundation. Fifth pump, five pumps. My face is not that big. And I do one more pump. And then I go with this side of the sponge, the rounded side, go straight off, and I just put it right here where I have where I need a little more coverage. This is definitely buildable, light to medium buildable coverage. I'm sure you could. Hey, Gunter. I'm sure you could build it all the way up to full if you just wanted to. I can't because the color will change. Now it is going to oxidize on my skin, and this will be about two shades darker by the time that it dries. So buy a shade or two lighter and I usually have to take another pump and just drag it all the way down my neck. I usually drag it to about my collarbone because then I have tattoos and then you can tell that I have makeup on my neck. So let's just talk about how this foundation looks. This has not been set. There's no concealer. This is just me putting it on with my sponge or my brush. Did not like it with the brush and it's not this brush's fault. I don't care what anybody says. Real techniques Foundation brushes are the bomb. I have a lot of foundation brushes. I have an oval brush. I have a Morphe foundation brush, Wet n Wild foundation brush. Um, these guys here, they're supposed to be dupes for the Artiste brushes. And I, I love my Real Techniques foundation brush. I just do. This actually works really well with this foundation as well. I just prefer a sponge. It looks nice, huh? And I especially love an oval brush like this down the neck because it's so quick. I actually have a bigger one than this but this is called um they're called my makeup brush set i got a set of like 30 of these for like 15 bucks so and they actually work really well let's take a peek let me get up in here where i can get to some natural light on this foundation and i just have to say i think it is so beautiful it sets beautifully with powders i apply my powder now i'm telling you this is not the foundation to use a brush with it's just not i even apply my foundations with a actually use a beauty blender a damp beauty blender um the beauty blender pro is my favorite to use with powders and it's the black one and i just dab my whole face with a loose powder I'm still really love it my La Mercier loose setting powder but if you can tell it is getting darker but it just looks so glowy and natural and like I have super healthy skin and I mean it doesn't look like I have on five pumps of foundation and that's why I love it and it smells amazing amazing so let me see right here where I need some little extra coverage. This would normally be covered with concealer right through here. But you see, it's not full coverage. I, I always get red right through here. I'm not sure why, but I do. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a little red. True deal. But let's see. I just think it's beautiful. Um, I really just wanted to speak on it with you guys for a little while because, I mean... 12 bucks, it smells amazing, it's good for your skin. It doesn't make me break out. And y'all know when I try a bunch of new foundations, my skin reacts to that and I will get these huge like scaly dry patches. But I have not had that happen with this foundation and I don't have flashback and I can wear it outside. I do live in South Florida and the sun is beaming down all the time and it stays on my face with just powder and setting spray. I do not use, I have not been using a primer as of late because it's too hot. I need my face to be more moisturized. Also, for everyone that's going to ask, this is my uh, 
L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara on, and then this is yesterday's eyebrows. <laughs> so that's um that's it for this video. I really hope you guys go try this foundation. I'm not sponsored anyway by CoverGirl. CoverGirl, if you're watching this and you want to sponsor me, hit me up because I will take that money. So. <laughs> Um, I, ha I will make another video soon. I do have another drugstore product that I would like to review for you guys. And we are getting, we are getting the new collection from Soul Shine Cosmetics. It's coming in the mail. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to review it for you guys. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for sticking with me through all of this horrible stuff with this hurricane where I haven't had power. And then I didn't have service because the towers were down. And then I didn't have air and I was hot as fuck. So... I really appreciate you, and I'm glad you still care about my opinion. And I'm glad this foundation looks amazing. Ah, I love you guys. Have a good day.